Hey everyone, what's up? Here I am, barefaced and all, um, doing a get ready with me video for you guys. I've never done one of these before, so bear with me. Um, my hair is pinned back. Um, I oh, I have weave in today. Um, this is the Elton hair, um, and this is the second time I'm wearing it. Uh, th but this is new hair though. Um, I didn't wear all of it last time that I had it. So, that review is coming up soon. I still haven't done it, uh, but it is coming up um, probably in the next day or so because I'm about to take this out. So, let's go ahead and get started. First, um, my foundation routine is really easy and simple. Um, all I use is my Revlon Photo Ready Makeup in 009. Oop. Y'all, don't look at my nails. <laughs> they are terrible. Um, so don't even look at that. I take one pump of that and two pumps of my moisturizer, and that's it. That's all I use for my foundation. It comes out like this, and then I literally just mix it up. Okay, mix it, mix it like that or so. And um, I'll like dab it on my face. I'm trying to get as much as I can on there. Uh-oh. Some hair in there. And then I rub it in all over. Oh, make sure your hands are clean before you do this. I washed my hands before I started today. I'm sorry if my lighting is like real white casted right now, but the light in my room went out, and this is the only light I have. And again, I am on my sister's computer, so that's why you don't see a lot of videos from me. I'm about to get a new computer though, sooner or later, hopefully. Okay. So now that it's good and rubbed in, and see basically like it doesn't really look that different. Honestly, even in real life, it doesn't look that different. It just looks like a little bit more coverage than I had before. But nothing, because I mean honestly if you don't have a lot of acne or you don't have like a lot of dark spots and stuff, you don't need to wear foundation. Like don't do that if you don't need to. There's a lot of people who wear foundation for no reason and then you get clogged pores for no reason. Um, so if you can minimize the amount of foundation that you use, perfect. That's what I've tried to do. That's why I only use one pump versus two or three pumps and then putting it all over my face because I don't need all of it. Okay, back to this. Um, then I do my eyebrows and where's my little brush? I really just do my eyebrows the same way that is it's done on my um, eyebrow tutorial video. I still kind of do it the same way. Um, but I use different stuff now. Um, I still use Spiked uh, every now and then. Um, but I do also use a powder now. I use NYX Dark Brown, just uh, the eyeshadow that you can get. And it's a really dark brown. And it actually doesn't look that dark here, but it's dark um, on your eyebrows. And, um, and my hair is jet black, so like I'm not going to do black eyebrows. I'm going to do brown because you never, ever, 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 ever do black eyebrows yeah never a good thing okay so I'm gonna fill them in and you're gonna use light short strokes you don't want to like literally draw your eyebrows on it's not cute And I'm going to a graduation party at a club tonight. So I decided to get ready with y'all because, again, I've never done one before. And actually, I'm not rushing today, which is what I'm usually doing, rushing like crazy. Um, so, yeah, you can see it's, like, filled in. That's not filled in. Like, I have pretty thick eyebrows, but... I still like how like really done up eyebrows look, so I do them. 
And one thing you always want to remember when you're doing your eyebrows and filling them in and stuff like that, I know a lot of people try to do like the whole like like eyebrows like mine like a lot I get a lot of compliments on my eyebrows and people try to do them and you try to like or people try to like um, literally draw them on but honestly not everybody has eyebrows like mine like people some people just naturally have um, different brow shapes you know so your best bet to get most natural um, looking eyebrows is just to follow your brow bone literally all my my eyebrows are not anything like special they literally just follow this bone structure of my like brow bone and that's just what it is you know and I'm I can't help it that I'm blessed with like really full eyebrows with add that but don't get me wrong I was like I had bushy eyebrows and everything when I was younger so I may look good now but it took up many years to get to where I am now so it took work. It did not just happen overnight, and I've never, I haven't looked like this my entire life. For sure, never have not, not never, but haven't looked like this my, my entire life. No, I can't even talk. But now, I kind of just go in on the bottom with Spiked um, from MAC, just to kind of give my, the bottom of my eye, like more, eyebrow more, def like, definition. And a cleaner, um, cut on the bottom and again it's just very light strokes you don't want it to look like you literally just took this pencil and drew your eyebrow on because like I said it's not very cute I'm looking in this mirror right here that I have and if you're wondering um the way I do my eyebrows, I get them threaded, but I actually haven't gotten them threaded in a long time because the people around me effed me up a couple times and I'm not trying to get effed up again. So, yeah, kind of just been doing my own thing, you know, plucking them. Um, I tried the little razor thing. I don't know how I feel about it. It was kind of like a, I didn't have time to do much else, so I picked up the little razor thing that people use. Um, but I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of it. Okay, so next, uh, like in my other video, you get your concealer. So there's my concealer. It's on my hand. This is the one I'm using now. It's the Select Cover Up. And, um, I wear NC45. And this is what I use for under my eyes and my eyebrows. So I'll take some of this and get a little dab on your little, um, concealer brush. And I got this brush at like Walmart a long time ago. Um, and I literally lined the bottom and the top of your brow. I'll try to do it closer in here. So see how I'm just following the bottom to kind of make it a clean, um, a clean brow? And I'm going to do this on both sides. So the bottom of my eyebrow and the top. And then I just blend it down just to make it look even. And then the top. Okay, this video is getting long, so I will be back with you guys in like two seconds. Uh, go to the next video. I'm going to cut this one off and start a new one. Okay, bye.